Well, here we are, 821 Livernoy in Ferndale, the Cafe Lounge. You can see a kitty right there. Let's go in, let's check it out. Well, here we have a kitty in a couch and just one of many inside the cafe. And then introduce yourself, hi. Hi, I'm Deanne Iovan. I'm the director of the Ferndale Cat Shelter. So where are we right now? Because this obviously is not a Ferndale cat shelter. No, we are at the Cafe Lounge, which is kind of a combination of a shelter and a cafe, but it's really neither. So um, we have cats that are up for adoption through the Ferndale Cat Shelter here in this space. You can help yourself to coffee or tea, uh, cookies, juice. What, what is this all about? This is about people who love cats? It's come about, in and hang out with the cats? Right, and it's about creating a space that is inviting to people and comfortable for the cats so the cats can show their best selves, um, which they can't really do in a cage. So I it's think. a whole different take on a rescue? It's a, it's a different take on a shelter. On a shelter. Space. Yeah. Better said, Dean. Okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. So uh, let's go for a tour. Okay, let's do it. So when we come in, we're, we have a greeter here. Yes, that is Opal. She was brought to us by Warren Animal Control. She was found outside with a feral colony. Hi, Opal. And she was obviously not uh, a feral cat. You think she was abandoned. Okay. And How many cats do you have right now? Uh, in our foster system, we have about 30. Here? No. In the foster system, about how many here at so, the cafe? So, you know, it ranges, but it's anywhere from like six to ten. But um, we can only have six per our uh, occupancy, um, certificate of occupancy. Got so. it. I'll get up to speed. Got it, got it, got it. I'm just taking it all so in because be. there's so many friendly faces around yeah, here. Yeah. So here's the coffee. You can come in and have coffee. And then you, know, you can buy a, a lovely cafe lounge coffee mug in our spring colors. And that helps you. Can, you uh, Take care of the cats and, and adopt them out. Right, absolutely. Any, any. Um, this is all for fundraising. This is all for medical care, for food. Uh, we have uh, Black Cat Friday totes. We have our nice little Super Kitty t-shirts. Did I hear you were doing Pilates and yoga yes. with the cats? We have a lot of programs going on. We have uh, Pilates on Saturday morning. We have yoga on uh, Thursday night and yoga and meditation on Friday morning. Yoga and Pilates and the kitties are all around you. Yes, the kitties just hang out And people there. like to be with the animals. Absolutely. You know, cats are very, um, they're, they're very welcoming. Uh, they're very easygoing. They, some of them participate, some of them don't. Um, In the Pilates or yoga. Right. We also have, like a, we have a preschool reading program with the Ferndale Library. We have, uh, we, we just started a Euchre tournament that we're going to do every month. Um, we also do something called the Cat Connection, which is uh, cat therapy with Gilda's Club of Royal Oak. And that's on the third Wednesday of every month. Well, tell um, me about that. That's really interesting. So, so that, was, uh, that was started by uh, a woman who's a friend of a friend who approached me and said that she wanted to do something to connect people to animals, um, but especially people that were going through life-changing experiences. So I said, well, why don't we contact Gilda's Club because they're nearby. Those people are going through life-changing experiences. The, it, I think that would be perfect kitty therapy. And people know. are coming in and so they're... People are coming in, so we have, you know, wine and snacks and uh, it's all donation-based. So it's, it's free unless somebody would like to make a donation. Um, and they come and hang out with the cats. And every week it changes because we adopt so many cats out of here that uh, that we always have new faces to meet. So, so there's a whole upper walkway for yes. the cats to play on. This is Charlie, you say. Yeah. And then this is the first of its kind in the state. It is, yes. We're happy to be the first. <laughs> um, you know, most coffee shops or most cat cafes are for-profit coffee shops that rent or not rent but they they part portion are out a spot in their building for cat rescue so a, a cat they'll, they'll collaborate with a, with a cat rescue okay um but uh but we're actually a nonprofit, so all donations that come in here go to the ferndale cat shelter ferndale cat shelter take care of the cats yeah and i can't believe it's snowing outside again He's watching it snow out here. It's because I broke my leg. 
And so if I had to define the cafe in 10 seconds or less, it's what? Um, it's a little bit of a shelter. It's, it's a, okay, it's a community space for people and cats to enjoy together. And then if someone gets friendly with a cat here and wants they to can, adopt, what they, happens then? Then they have to fill out an application and we have to review the application, do a home visit, and then if everything goes well, they have a, they have a new companion. So how do people get in touch with you? Uh, uh, FerndaleCatShelter.org is our website. Um, we also have a cafe website that has a list of all of the activities that we do here. That's cafe.cafe um, that has dates for the yoga, the meditation, the cat connection, the euchre, the paws and tiny tails reading program. I love it. And then are these yeah. cats that have been adopted out then? No, the, I'm sorry. This is our wall of gratitude here. These are for people who have donated time, money, resources uh, to help build out this space. So these are all uh, local businesses. And it just shows you how many people care about animals. Yeah, absolutely. I love what you're doing here. Thank and we'll you. look forward to coffee later. Sounds good. All right. <laughs>